Uh, I just realized something. I said yesterday that today I would show a kinder, gentler, softer, more compassionate side of Uncle Brian and offer Java some help. I kind of forgot about it. And now it just came to me. Originally, I was going to do something in a couple other areas, but now, since Job is going to be repainting the Bel Air, I thought maybe this would be more useful to him. You know, I really doubt he has a spray gun, the hoses, the compressor, um, the paint a car the way it should be painted, and, you know, not out in a fucking driveway. But, hey, you know, he makes do with what he has, and he has his own creative ways of doing things, you know, like how you do a brake job, just spray paint the drums, you know. Uh, I doubt he will take a body hammer and a dolly and get inside and bang those dents out. You know, in any spots that are lifted up, do a light grind on it to smooth it out. And then, you know, body fillers to fill in low spots, you know. But, you know, some things need to be banged out, and then they end up with a high spot. You take it down with a grinder very lightly, and then you get your body filler on there. And then you block sand it. You know, you don't just take a piece of sandpaper in your hand and just go around rubbing. Like you're polishing furniture or waxing a fender. No, no. You get a hard substrate behind it, so it's nice and smooth, you know. Block sanding is how you get things really smooth and straight. I thought maybe, where he has his home methods of doing things, like even he came up with the toolless method of engine building where you don't need tools, don't need a torque wrench, don't need sockets, don't need box open ends, nothing. Because you don't talk things down. You don't tighten them down. You only tighten it hand tight. So that way, in case you have to take it apart over and over and over again, like Java has to do, you don't need a single tool. You can do it all by hand. So I thought maybe he could use this. Uh, it's almost empty. You'd have to empty out the rest, wash it all good. And I think I might have a Windex bottle around there somewhere. Now that one's clear. He'd be able to see his special blend of paint, hardener, and reducer while he's spraying. This one you can't, but you'll know, you know, you'll feel the weight that, you know, his special Java blend of paint, hardener, and reducer is in there. And uh, the nozzle on both, I'll see if I can find a Windex one. I think I might have thrown it out. That's usually what we do with empty products, you know. They get thrown out in the trash and recycles. They get picked up. You know, I don't take them and go outside and open the hood of my car and throw it behind the grill in front of the radiator. You know, so you can see it through the grill and accumulate trash. You know, that's why we have trash cans here. Uh, and the nozzle on both, you can adjust it. You can have a fine mist spray for wide coverage. Or you can set it to a heavy stream and maybe that could help him out save him a lot of body work with those dents banging them out block sanding it filling it block sanding it you can just put it on the heavy stream and keep spraying in the dents until he's got a nice big puddle of paint there and it fills up and fills up and then when it's level with the rest of the fender he stops now the thing is that will only work on the dents on the top it won't work on the side because there was something called gravity. And all that pulled up paint that he's spraying in there, as he's spraying it, it's not going to fill up the dent. It's just going to keep running down the side, leaving all big, thick drips and streaks. So anyway, uh, you know, I said yesterday I was going to do something to help Jabba, and I wanted to keep my word, so I just did.